Welcome back to Return to Elania, where we're trying to improve the look and feel of my original Minecraft world. Now we are starting out this episode by replacing the Crossroads Farm with something much better. And the first step was to demolish the old house that was here. And in doing that, we had to move this dog. Better not die now, because I don't know. And better not fall in a hole either, because this is uh, not my dog. Let's see, nothing happens. That is my daughter's dog, and. It's been like a year since she played Minecraft with me, so that dog has been sitting here waiting for her to return all this time. And he was inside the house, so I just slowly pushed him out of the way. In addition, I found a whole. I found another dog, one of mine, that was sitting in the uh, chicken pen, which I didn't even remember was there, and who was named Dix. So I took him back to the house. All right. Now that we're on 1.13, I think uh, spruce trapdoors are much better flower boxes anyway. Let's see, press the right button, the correct button. And stuff everything in here. start by taking this whole thing down um, by at least two more levels, I think. So that'll be good. So I'm going to get started on that, and uh, I'll have it all ready to get going when we come back. So spent last night in the balloon and I have been out oh goodness me you see what I see behind me there's a witch I didn't think I was down here long enough for something to spawn well thank you dearie it's for the sugar so I'm over here to the north of home by the balloon and I'm gathering some spruce wood because we're going to need it for our little cabin. And I spent uh, one whole Minecraft day gathering it and I've almost got four stacks probably could have gathered more quickly, but I've been working at uh, chopping mostly just the short trees. This one's a little higher than most of the ones I've been getting. I didn't realize that when I started chopping. Anyway, of course the idea is to preserve the environment as much as possible. and hopefully what is this? Now, 
wasn't me. Uh, hopefully, the sap. Come on, dog, quit. It. As I was saying, hopefully, the uh, saplings that fall from the trees will grow larger. This is Penelope with me today. Okay. Generally speaking, it's a bad idea to take your dog anywhere near lava because either they fall in or they push you in. Neither of which is an ideal outcome. But that lava probably explains that floating tree because uh, for the entire time I initially played in this world, Fire Tick was on. Fire spread, if you will. And so it was not uncommon to come across forest fires at all when I was playing early on, since I have turned it off. I also had at least one house burned down in those olden days. We've got over four stacks of spruce logs, so I think that's going to be enough. And speaking of, there's another floating tree. Yeah, no doubt that's what the problem was. So let's go ahead and fix this. Okay, yep. come along Penelope, we have to go up here, right? Yep. I think my balloon looks okay. Um, I'm going to do something with that staircase and remove that eventually. And of course, we haven't done anything to this road here yet. A lot of discussion now that 1.13 is out in Minecraft of what we would like to see next because it is well known that uh, Mojang has several additional updates in the works and uh, seems to be divided between people who want an air update, in other words get birds and some things in the air and it would be cool if they arranged it so you could actually move around in a floating balloon like that, but I don't think that's probably feasible. And the people who want a cave update with stalactites and stalagmites and crystals and all kinds of goodies like that, that's much more likely. I frankly don't care as long as they add more blocks to the game. Now that they've increased uh, the number of blocks possible, it would be really nice if they gave us some cement stairs and terracotta stairs. That's my number one goal because uh, terracotta and cement are my two favorite building materials. Okay, so we almost have this it out here to this level. <laughs> Don't throw your pickaxe. This is one of the pickaxes which I had from early in my game. These others are uh, tools that I've either crafted or I found in a chest that were unenchanted and I'm working to fix them up so that they're usable. I've got some basic enchantments on them. I haven't got mending on all of them yet, but of course that's what we want to do. All right, so um, how much space have we got here? From this corner. 
corner we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's plenty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think that's probably plenty as well. Um, okay. I think we will do kind of an L-shaped building. So, let's bring it in just a bit, and from this corner, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six tall. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9 wide. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 would be there. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, that should be a nice size ranch house right there. So I'm going to work on laying this out and getting started on it, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Whoop, didn't mean to knock you over. Oh, this is one of the puppies with no name. Okay, so I've laid out the basic shape of the house, put in four of planks, and put in where the windows are going to go. I want some nice, large windows. Um, put some stairs top and bottom yeah. like so and then on this wall Generally, in medieval builds, I think smaller windows are more appropriate. They are more um, true to the originals, but I don't necessarily want this to be a, a medieval-style build. I want it to be, uh, I guess, not really a modern house, but well, in a way, yeah, kind of a modern ranch style. There's a hole there, I forgot. Okay. Let me look around the base of the whole thing and see if there are any more places like that. Yeah, right here. Here. Does it look like it actually belongs in this space? And I forgot to put the rest of the window in up here. Okay.
Okay. And one more. Well, these are actually smaller. Let me look at this. Yeah, they're all wrong. I want them much taller, like so. Two high windows. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. You've got to just go back and redo it. Kind of the whole point of this series, as a matter of fact, since everything we are doing here is a essentially a rebuild of some long ago time. glass. There we go. So how does that look from outside? That looks good. And then we will have some shutters on here. Probably four, four wide shutters. Nice big shutters made out of um, spruce trap doors. This area right here, I'm going to set in a little bit, give it some depth, and I'm going to do that by using some brick. And I've got the, just the door I want here, too. Beautiful. And the way I've been set it, I think I could even do this and put it on from the outside here. moment. We will do it this way though. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'll need something else on the, on the sides here. It's pretty tall, but I think I think we're going to need that height because of the tall windows. So I think we are going to go with a uh, slab ceiling right here because that to prevent anything from spawning in the attic. So let me get a few 
view on here, see what it looks like. some kind of a lighting thing up there. Go ahead and place the bed and sleep. So what I intend is to do the ceiling and then I will start on the roof. And my idea is a pretty normal A-frame roof of oak to give it some differentiation from this and then trimmed along the side with red brick stairs. So let me work on that a bit and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Hello and welcome back to Return to Alania. Um, we finished with our crossroads farm and here's how it looks. We've got a little dormer on this side um, spruce trapdoors used both as shutters and flower boxes. In the front, we've got a little overhang that matches the inset and uh, some supports from uh, spruce fence posts. A little spruce leaves here as uh, bushes. We've got pink tulips all the way around. And on this side, we've got a chimney. On the back, more bushes and more tulips. I haven't done much with the interior yet. What I have done is, before I put the roof on, I put redstone lighting in. Now, I had spaced them out before I put these beams in, and consequently, these two beams are covering up a couple of lights, but it seems pretty light in here. Here's our fireplace that could be functional if we replace this block with a piece of netherrack or some other flammable material. Uh, we've got a mantle here, which we could put uh, flower pots and things on it, and I probably will. Throw in a couple of beds in here. A little fire um, work area, furnace area, I guess. I hesitate to say kitchen, but we we'll get some food stored in there. And the entryway, of course, hasn't had anything done yet except for a single picture. So all of this can be uh, beautified and, and done at a later date. So I'm pretty happy with Crossroads Farmhouse. That ah, looks like a creeper hole. Okay, so we've still got a lot to do here in the Kingdom of Alania. Uh, we've got to rebuild this road going out that way to Hamburg and beyond. Rebuild the road going this way to Alania Cala Castle. The south road, which leads up to a, a little hunter or a logging cottage, and up this way to Spawn Point Cottage, which is over there. And of course, we need, we need to redo that. But I think the very next thing we need to do is build a nice stables over here to fit in with our all our horses and our farm area. So I want to thank you for joining me on this little quest to improve my original Minecraft world. If you have any comments or suggestions or questions, please put them down in the comment section. I will happily respond. Uh, suggestions appreciably, especially are appreciated, as well as constructive criticism. So for now, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you back again. And as always, keep on Minecrafting.